All right. Okay. So when you come up with the examiner, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. First thing you're going to do is look underneath the truck and explain there's no apparent leaks. Okay. Explain I'm going to do a quick walk around to make sure that there's nothing falling off my unit and my wheels are blocked. So you're looking up and down and all around. On your way by, I'll do your hood latch. Okay. Wheels are blocked. You're going to carry on. And this first walk around is real quick, right? When you get back to the front of the truck, you're going to explain that you're checking your hinges to make sure it's okay to open your hood. Okay. You're going to open your hood carefully and slowly. Right. Come to your driver's side. And what you need to explain is that you're uh, checking the side of your engine for any oil leaks. Okay. I'm checking all my hoses, my belts, my clamps, my wiring. Mm. My rad supports appear to be good. Mm. No leaks from my radiator. Radiator fluid cap is secure. Okay. My filler cap for my oil is secure. My fan blades and fan belts appear to be good. Okay. My compressor appears to be good. You're going to pull your dipstick, check your oil. My steering shaft is good, steering box, steering linkage appear to be good. My bolts are in place and my cotter pins are in place. Power steering appears to be good and secure. Fuel filter is good, air dryer is, appears to be good. Now I'm checking my frame. My springs, U-bolts, shocks, axles all appear to be good. Now I'm checking all my brake components, the inside of my tire for any leaks, the inside of my tire for any bulges and cracks. My hood support and strap appears to be good. So now you're done this side of the engine. You're going to walk around to the other side. Again, starting at the top. My air filter appears to be good. I'm checking all my hoses, my belts, my clamps, my wiring. My rad support appears to be good. No apparent leaks. My alternator, my belts, and my fan blades, or I can see better on this side, all appear to be good. My air to airs and my turbo all appear to be good. Now I'm checking my frame, springs, U bolt, shocks, axles, all appear to be good. All my brake components, checking the inside of my tire for any leaks, checking for any bulges and cracks. Windshield washer is full, and I have a spare jug with me. My hood supports appear to be good. So now I'm done under my engine. So you want to close your hood. Carefully and controlled. And uh, you're going to redo your hood latches. So now that my under the hood is secure, I'm going to check my documentation. I'm going to reach in, grab your binder. Belongs to your unit 223. You're going to come to the front of your truck. You're going to explain that you have my national safety code. Appears to be good. In case I find anything. My registration is valid. It matches my plate. My insurance is valid. You're going to come to your door, checking your commercial CBIP sticker. Mm. This number must match the sticker, which it does. Valid for one year from this date. Mm. I have proof of insurance and my safety fitness reads continuous. So my documentation is all done. So now I can set myself up um, for my external pre-trip. You're going to hop into your truck, put the key in the on position, turn on your headlights, turn on your high beam, turn on the left signal light, take the seal off the dash, put it in the right handle, and okay. activate your brake lights. Okay. You're going to step out of your vehicle, grab your hammer, Set it on your step. Okay. Come to the front of your truck.
starting at the top. My clearance lights are working. My roof appears to be good. Windshields appear to be good. Windshield wipers appear to be good. Take a step forward. Grab your hood. My hood is secure. Hood, ground bumper all appear to be good. Lights are supposed to secure. High beam and marker lights are working. High beam and signal lights are working. My hood strap is secure. Mud flap and fender appear to be good, no new body damage. My mirror is secure. Checking the tread of my tire, outside of the tire for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks, lug nuts for securement and shiny spots touching each and every lug nut. Center up for any oil leaks, fluid levels, and my valve stem is centered and capped. Signal light is working, mirror is secure. You gotta open your door, and my door opens and closes easily. You have to step up on the steps so you don't lock yourself out. Mm -hmm. Test your windows up and down. Pick up your hammer. I'm gonna check my batteries. All appear to be good. My DEF tank appears to be secure at the cap. My steps are secure. No new body damage. My windows appear to be good. My storage compartment is secure. Inside I have my fire extinguisher and my emergency triangles. My fuel cap, fuel tank and steps all appear to be good. I would do a visual check of my fuel because I never trust my gauges. Mm. Looking underneath, no apparent leaks. You're going to come to the back of your truck. My work lights appear to be good. No new body damage. My electrical lines and my air lines are secure. My heater or box is secure. My drive shaft appears to be good. Catwalk appears to be good. Cross members and frame all appear to be good. Mud flap is secure and not rubbing. Position yourself between your wheels. Starting with fifth wheel and frame appear to be good. Now I'm looking under my truck for any leaks or obstructions. Checking my axle, suspension, springs, cross members, all brake components. Checking my airbags and my shocks. Now I'm checking the insides of both tires for any bulges and cracks, both treads, between both sets of tires for any obstructions, both treads. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks, lug nuts for securement and shiny spots, center up for any oil leaks, both valve stems centered and capped. Smack your tires, check in tire pressure. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks, lug nuts for securement and shiny spots, center up for any oil leaks, both valve stems, center to cap, smack your tires, check your tire pressure. My wheels are blocked. Mud flap is secure, not rubbing. I can see my back drive shaft appears to be good. My frame and cross members appear to be good. My reflectors and reflective tape are in place and I need 100% reflective tape on the back. Signal light is working, no license plate light. But if this was a regular truck, it would have a license plate light and a license plate. Brake light and tail light appear to be good. Mud flap is secure and not rubbing. Position yourself between your wheels again, starting with fifth wheel and frame appear to be good. Now I'm checking under my truck for any leaks or obstructions. Check my axle, suspension, springs, cross members, all brake components. Checking insides of both tires for any bulges or cracks, bolt threads, three bolt tires for any obstructions, bolt threads. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks, lug nuts for skimming and shiny spots, center up for any oil leaks, both valve stems, center and cap, smack your tires, check your tire pressure. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks, lug nuts for skimming and shiny spots, center up for any oil leaks, both valve stems, center and cap, smack your tires, check your tire pressure. This is where you can kind of group things. Mud flap, cross member, catwalk and frame all appear to be good. I'm checking my drive shaft, my steps, and my exhaust all appear to be good and it doesn't appear I have any leaks from my exhaust. My handle is secure. Motion to the back. My load area is now secure. No new, my work lights appear to be good. No new body damage. All my windows appear to be good and my doors are all secure. Fuel cap, fuel tank and steps all appear to be good. Looking underneath, no apparent leaks. 
Again, I would check, do a visual check of the fuel because I don't trust my gauges. Mm -hmm. No new body damage, my mirror is secure. Open your passenger's door, test your window up and down. Door opens and closes carefully and properly. My hood strap is secure. Signal and clearance light are working. Mud flap and butt, uh, fender appear to be good. No new body damage. My mirror is secure. Now I'm checking the tread on my tire. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks, lug nuts for securement and shiny spots, center up for any oil leaks and fluid levels, and my valve stem is centered and capped. At this point, you're going to walk around. You're going to put your hammer away, reach up, turn your high beam off, put your right signal light on. You're going to close your door. You're going to start right here. Signal and marker light are working. Your second walk around is a little faster. Brake light and tail light, signal light. Signal light. Signal lights and low beam. Low beam and clearance. So at this point, you're going to hop into your truck. So just hop into the passenger side right now. You hop into the truck, remove your seal, hang it back up, turn off your headlights. At this point, you're going to start your truck. The minute your truck starts, you're going to explain that I'm checking my oil gauge. Should come up within 30 seconds of starting my vehicle. If not, then I have a problem. My voltage gauge appears to be good. Water gauge, temperature gauge is good. RPM gauge is working. Air gauge is seem to be working. Fuel gauge appears to be good. Right signal light's working, turn it off. Left signal light, turn it off. Windshield washer and fluid appears to be good. Turn them off. Four-way flashers appear to be good. Fan on all speeds appears to be good. Steering wheel horn, air horn. Then you're going to bring your seat belt over. You're checking for freeze. You're going to connect it, look down. You have fire extinguisher, charge fire extinguisher. Then you're going to explain my floor area is clear of all obstructions, no loose objects. My pre-trip is now done. Now I can set myself up for my air brake test. My wheels are blocked. I have full air. Shut your truck off. Put the key back in the on position. Push in your yellow button. Start pumping your brakes down, explaining I'm waiting for my lawyer warning to come on at 60 PSI. Once that's on, I'm going to now explain that you're going to continue pumping until your button pops out between 20 and 45. The minute your button pops out, start your truck, bring your RPM to 1200, explain you're going to do a compressor test. I'm going to time my gauges between 50 to 90, it should be 3 minutes or less. The minute your timing is done, now you're waiting for your governor to cut out between 120 and 135. That's where you're going to hear the purge on the truck. That so when that happens, then you're going to take and push in your yellow button, explain you're checking your governor cut in. I'm reducing my air 20 to 25 PSI below where it just cut out at. Once the air quits hissing, if need be, pump your brake once or twice. Step back on your gas, watch your gauge, and bring your RPM back up 1200. Watch your gauges. When your gauges start going back up, I explain my gauges are moving, so that confirms my governor cut in. I'm just waiting for it to cut out again. Minute it cuts out again, you're going to shut your truck off, put the key back in your own position so you can give your gauges a chance to set themselves. You're going to uh, step on the foot brake, give your gauges a chance to stabilize. Then you're going to start your timer explaining I'm doing a leak test. And in the next two minutes, I can't lose any more than four PSI. The minute your two minutes are up, as you take your foot off the brake, pull your buttons immediately. Don't play with your phone or your timer. Pull your buttons immediately. Because your next step then is to get out, remove your chalk blocks. Put them on the barrel beside your truck. Come back in, put a seat belt on, put yourself in gear, release your brakes, start rolling forward, foot brake, and stop. My air brake tests are now complete. Close your video.